condensing coil up here, uh, one thing you want to watch for, we do occasionally get a, a comment about it. And if you look right down in here, there's a little hole in the top of that condensing coil. That's supposed to be there. That is a volatile gas vent. So don't go and plug that up or cover it up. That's supposed to be in there. These coils, we very, very, very seldom ever have to replace them. I've, once in a while I've seen one that has gotten very corroded here and, and cracked off for some reason and we don't know why it happened, but I would think over the last 20 years we've sold about five or six coils. It's pretty rare that we see them. The purpose of that volatile gas vent in, in, in the boiling chamber, okay, as the water boils in here, the solids drop to the bottom. The volatile gases, which are, for, for a kind of a sim, oversimplification, I'm going to call it man-made pollutants. And that's things like gasoline, pesticides, uh, those types of things. They typically have a boiling point that is lower than water. In other words, they would boil off before the water starts to boil. So they would come to the very top of the boiling chamber first. And then they come out the hole. As they come out the top, they vent out of that hole. Okay. So we have a pre-filter, which is to catch a lot of that uh, chlorine and, and other types of gases like that. We catch it in the pre-filter. The rest of it is caught here. And if there's anything left, it's caught in a post-filter after the distiller. Now, before you panic, you have to understand that most of the gases, by the time it reaches here, are in one or two parts per billion. Okay? And to give you kind of a correlation to what that means, three parts per billion is the same, or one part, two parts, I'm sorry, two parts per billion is the same as three seconds in 36 years. Three seconds in 36 years. So we're talking about very, very minute particles. You probably have a lot more pollution in the house from other things, such as household cleaners and whatever. So it's not an issue if you're gonna breathe it. It's, it's something you've got more of that in the house already to start with. So we have the system by where the pre-filter takes out an awful lot of the chlorine and gases that are trapped there. The distillation process in here separates out the remainder of it. It's popped out of the volatile gas vent, and when time it gets to the post filter, it takes out all of the rest of it. So we're dealing with 99.99% .99 of everything that's in the water is removed by this distillation system. It's not just one item, it's a system.